everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my at home self tanning routine. I cannot believe I have never done a video covering this because I do use a self tanner very, very often. I've actually mentioned it in several of my videos that I like to tan usually just my body. And then I will take a little bit of a darker foundation and put that on my face to match my body. I just prefer to have a little color in my skin. Of course, there is absolutely nothing wrong with having fair or pale skin. I just like the look that some color gives me. It makes my legs look nicer as I get older. I have different discolorations coming out of nowhere, and I just like that look. So I have been using tanners, and I mentioned in a couple of videos over the last year or two that the tanner that I did love, this colored mousse tanner, was discontinued. So I was lucky enough to be sent these products from a company called Tanceuticals. It is their self-tanning body lotion, and their self-tanning face lotion. They asked me if I would try them out and possibly work with them on a video if I liked them. And I am thrilled to have found something that works so well, is cruelty-free, reasonably priced, and doesn't make me orange. Because that's pretty much the number one thing that I look for in a tanner. Well, two things. I can't stand the smells of most of them. And secondly is that orangey look. Wait, there's also a third thing that drives me crazy about other tanners that this one does not do, thankfully, is I've tried some other ones, very popular ones on social media, and while the color might have been fine, the way that it faded was terrible. I would look like a scaly lizard. My legs would look terrible. It just, I hated the way it faded. So I was a little bit skeptical going into trying this because for a couple of reasons. One was it's, I'm used to using a tanner that has color when you apply it. This one does not have any color when you apply it. It has like a little bit of a tint, but it goes on pretty clear. So my concern with that was, well, how am I supposed to see where I'm applying this? Like, what if I miss spots? And that's pretty much a guarantee that you are gonna miss some spots. But to my surprise, after I applied it, and I'm gonna show you the demo of how I did apply it. When I woke up, I was expecting a mess. I was expecting splotches, missed areas, just because I couldn't see where it was going. But with this, I woke up, looked in the mirror, and was so surprised to see that everything was fine. I was actually this really nice golden tan. I wasn't orange at all. It wasn't too dark. I was also a little bit of, a little bit worried about having the dark formula, but it was perfect. And I did not notice any of that self tanner smell. This has a coconut scent, so when I first applied it, I thought, oh, this is really nice. It smells very, very beachy. I do like a coconut scent. And you could smell that a little bit. I went to bed, and the next morning, I could smell a little bit of that self-tanner smell, but it really was more of the coconut smell. So as far as the scent goes, they have really managed to cover it up quite nicely. One of the other great things about these products is that they're not just tanners, they're also CC creams. They have cosmeceuticals in them, so you've got your acai berry, your vitamin E, your mango butter, they're gonna hydrate and firm, so you're gonna get other benefits besides just your color. So I do have a couple of self-tanning tips for you before we get into the demo. The first one is that you don't want to attempt to use a self-tanner whether you've done it one time or a hundred times, you don't wanna do this right before a big event. You wanna give yourself a couple of days. Like if I know I have a party or a date night on Saturday night, I will start doing this process on a Thursday. So I'll do it Thursday night, and then maybe if I want a little bit darker or if I did happen to get some sort of you know, blotch or anything because of my user error, you have to really try to figure out how much you need to use over time to do you know, each leg or each arm. So I recommend taking a couple days first so you can get the color just right. They do have this mitt, which you'll see demoed in the video. And I actually make my husband come and do my back. It's pretty easy to reach your back with this, but I like it to be perfect, so I hand the glove over to my husband. Now the other tip I have is, I think, pretty well known already, but you wanna exfoliate your skin. You wanna use some sort of scrub in the shower, shave those legs, just make sure, and you know, and use some, I actually use some sort of exfoliator on my face too, because I want the face tanner to really be able to sink in and not be 
applied over that dead skin. So I'll use a facial exfoliator, a body exfoliator, and then I will begin the process. So I usually begin by taking a little bit of lotion and applying that to my elbows, the tops of my feet, to my kneecaps. That way you don't get any excess accumulation of tanner in those drier areas. Then I take a little bit of the product on the mitt and they recommend you start with your lower body, but I, for some reason today, decided to start with my upper body. And as you can see, I am taking it up on my neck and then I add a little bit more to do my arms and I pay special attention to the area around my armpit and on the inner portion of my arms. And then there's me trying to get my back a little bit. And then I move on to the face, take a little bit of the face tanner, rub it between my palms and apply it like I would a moisturizer. Oh, before I do this, of course, I do the bottom portion of my body, my legs and my torso. And then I just wait the seven to eight hours for it to develop. So if you are in the market for a new tanner that's not gonna leave you orange or streaky or smell horrible, then I highly recommend you checking out these Tanceuticals Color and Correct Tanning Lotions. So one last thing, if you decide not to use the mitt and you just use your hands, make sure that you wash really, really well. I recommend using a bar soap. It's just something I discovered on my own after years of self tanning that the hand, the pump lotions like soft soap and that kind of thing. I don't think that that removes the product as well as using a bar of soap, not actually removing the color once it's developed, but getting the remainder of what you might've had on your hands off. So it doesn't stain your palms. I recommend using a bar soap over a liquid soap. All right, so there you have it, my self-tanning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and Twitter. All of those are Reset Does Makeup. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon.